Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be viewing this. I hope you're having a great day, and Shalom here from the Barbecue Network. I figured I would, uh, watching Days of Thunder here in the background, but that I would review uh, the upside. Uh, pardon me if I've already posted a review for this, but I'm sure upside is now on uh, Blu-ray or DVD. Uh, so I was curious if anyone sees this video, um, if you own the Blu-ray or DVD of Upside, can you tell me if there's any special features on it? Uh, I would appreciate knowing that very much. Uh, I may purchase it. Um, beyond that, I um, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And I did notice that I got a 16th subscriber. So thank you very much. I now have 16 subscribers. I'm very, uh, very happy about that. I have 15, uh, you know, I've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the, way, all the different numbers up to 16 now. So um, that's exciting. I only need um, 984 and then I can live stream from my phone again. So that would be great. Uh, I was really enjoying uh, doing quite a lot of the live streams. Those were uh, really enjoyable. So anyway, uh, having a wonderful day here. And... Um, the Upside, it's a remake of a movie called The Intouchables, um, which was uh, starred Omar Sy and a, a French gentleman, I, I can't recall his name, um, but it was the biggest box office hit in French history, one of the biggest European made movies, you know, European box office hits of all time. Uh, I might do an episode about that. About all the different, uh, like, movies that have played in Europe of all time, what the biggest hits are. Because you all, often it's broken into North America and then international. But I feel like it would be interesting to do it for each continent. So uh, let me know out there if you guys are interested in seeing a show like that. And I have uh, a lot of research and data that I've put into it already. So I want to make sure that there's uh, people that would, would like to know about that. Um... But anyway, the upside here was a huge box office hit, a sleeper hit, um, and that I still don't hear people, you know, discussing enough of or anything. Um, I feel that the movie was uh, kind of sandbagged in a way, like with all the Kevin Hart controversy and everything. They didn't even probably even release, end up releasing the movie um, for the Oscar qualifications uh, deadline, and um, you know, it's just a really good performance by Brian Cranston and a great performance uh, by Kevin Hart. Uh, Nicole Kidman's in the film. Basically about a Brian Cranston guy. He's uh, has all this guilt because he's rich and all this and he had a, you know, his wife and they were paragliding or something and I think she may have died and then he survived and uh so he's dealing with that, and then he's survived, but he's, you know, a shell of himself. He's not able to do the things that he used to do. I don't know if he's paralyzed exactly or what, but uh, he's pretty crippled up. He can't move around too good. Um, so they hires Kevin Hart, uh, not necessarily reluctantly, but he doesn't like all the other, you know, more typical applicants. And Kevin Hart's not necessarily a criminal, but I'm sure he's had some crimes in his past, but it's kind of just a... Uh, a never do well type guy and has got a son that he's trying to support and um there's just a lot of really good dynamics in the film you know as as kevin hart uh becomes closer to the brian cranston character and uh, makes mistakes uh there's some parts where i think the brian cranston character overreacts a lot uh but i guess it's you know it's his nature to do so i believe the film was made by neil berger i've liked some of his other films as well and this being a remake, um, I like it better than the original, uh, just because it, the other one always seemed a little bit too, um, I don't know, not by the numbers, because this one's not necessarily not by the numbers, but that one did seem more by the numbers and a little bit too um, out, you know, uh, not based in reality. This one seemed more real. Um, and I think Nicole Kidman's performance really kind of grounds the movie. So anyway, this is a random movie review for The Upside. I'm sure it's on Blu-ray or DVD by now. It was a, a sleeper box office hit. Out, ended up outgrossing Glass, I believe, or close enough to it. And it's on, in its budget and expectation, that was a, quite a big hit. 
Um, so anyway, go ahead and check out the movie. Let me know what you think. And uh, so long for now.